Hi students, I want to show you a few things about logging into My Big Campus and what to do as soon as you are logged in. First of all, if you go to our school webpage, right here in the corner there's a shortcut to take you directly to My Big Campus. Or you can type in www.mybigcampus.com, all one word. When you get here, you're going to click the Login button. Your login is the same that you usually use for school, and so is your password. So it would be last name, first initial, and then your student ID number or your lunch number is your password. In this box, you have to put your school name. So you're going to start typing Rosedale Elementary, Montezuma Elementary, or Riverton Park Junior Senior High, whichever school you're attending. Pay attention, there'll be a list that comes up, and you have to make sure you choose the right one. Make sure you choose the one in Indiana, and make sure you're clicking on your school. This box here that says Remember Me, you never want to check this box because it'll keep you logged into My Big Campus. Now, when you have your own computers, it may be tempting to stay logged in, but you need to remember if somebody else gets on your computer and is using your My Big Campus account, it, you are responsible for the things that they do. So you really want to log out every time you're done using My Big Campus and always log back in. That will protect your account and keep you from getting in trouble. So leave this box unchecked and then click log in. Once we get into My Big Campus, the very first thing you're going to want to do is check your notifications. And they should be coming up very soon. Right here at the top in the blue bar, you see I have a number one. That means I have one notification. There has been something new posted in one of my groups or a new assignment given to me since the last time I logged in. So you always want to click this as soon as you log into My Big Campus to see what is new that you should be paying attention to. And you can click on whatever it comes up to take a shortcut directly to that new item. So very important that you always check this. You don't want this number to climb to, you know, 3,000 notifications because then you may have missed something important that you should have paid attention to. The last thing I want to point out um, as far as when you first log in is that you really don't want to use this box very often for posting things. This is just like a status update. You could use this box for something like, I can't wait till our field trip on Friday. That would be a wonderful thing to post here. But most people will not see things that you post in this box. If you want to send a message to your teacher, you'll want to do that in conversations, or you'll want to go to the class group for that teacher and post an announcement or post in a discussion there. You won't want to post it here. Another thing you could do is go to the teacher's name. So here's me. If I click on my name, it'll go to my profile, and I could, you could post a message on your teacher's profile or on your teacher's wall, is what this is, and then they will see your message. So that's three different ways to send messages to your teachers, on their wall, or in schoolwork, or in your group discussions. Finally, we're ready to log out of My Big Campus. Um, when you are done using it, you always want to make sure you do this. Go to the little person with the gear in the blue bar at the top, and click on log out and this will take you back to the login screen. If you have any questions about logging into Miami campus, please send a conversation to Mrs. Porter.